what's up guys ton ton here and welcome back to my channel so today let's have a look at the transformer legacy deluxe class knockout from the transformer prime universe let's begin so in my personal opinion i think that knockout and starscream is my are my favorite primes characters and like really hope to have a good time there and starscream does that i love my transformer prime first edition starscream that figure is like flawless to me but knockout sadly didn't get the same treatment the Prime's knockout is full of flaws and problems and then they stopped making anything about Prime's and so I got to have a substitute which is my red knockout which is like a perfect figure, a perfect action figure not a transformer toys because that figure sadly cannot transform so I really have my hopes up when they announce that they're gonna make a knockout again but when I got this guy, to be honest, I am disappointed when I look at the promo image, I thought, okay, uh, this is guy is a little bit bulky and then I skip. But today when I handling him on hand, he is a remote of the Studio Series 886 Jazz. And that is a little bit sad because these two characters does not share anything at all. Except to be both like sports cars, but like all the Transformers are, so yeah. So in this review, I'm gonna do a straight up comparison between this guy and the 86 Jazz to show you how similar they are. So let's begin. So here we got Knockout. And I'm gonna straight up put in jazz. And now I'm gonna point out the first problem ever. So yeah, of course I know we love this jazz. I love this jazz. Okay, this is a perfect deluxe class jazz to for me. This is like phone of G1. But knockout primes is not G1, you know. Knockout prime is like smooth, rounded, slick, and this knockout is clearly like a jazz copy with the knockout from Prime's head hook on it. So yeah, I'm gonna tell you about what is different with this guy. First up, obviously, is the head, the uh, chest section. This is due to a different cars they are using. So that leads to a different armpit section. So because of jazz here, you, got, you still got that rim, that part pooping, poking out a little bit. But for knockout, that is for like more mainstream. And to be honest, this is one of the redemption points to me. I think that he looks better in this. The torso and the waist is the same. The arms, of course, is different. The upper section is the same, but the lower, of course, because this is a studio series and then Knockout is a legacy, which is like Siege and everything. So he does have got a couple set of holes in here, but the holes here got a problem. They're fucking hollowed so that you can see anything like really, really is this this bad? Okay, this is terrible. This is obviously a second thought. So yeah, I am really disappointed. You got a new thigh section. The legs, the lower legs, basically is the same. You got a new set of feet and a different set of armor. And clearly this is where the second thought thing beginning to hit. Because for Jazz, it's like fit in like a really nice leg armor. But for Knockout, just look at the part that is like popping out. It's just terrible. So then one more thing that I can compliment Knockout on is that the backpack. You know, same gimmick. But then knockout different car. So in as a result, the knockout one does feel better. It's like slicker. So yeah, that is probably a good thing about this guy. Okay, so that is for jazz. So I'm so now I'm gonna focus on what is new about this guy. First up, we got the head. And yes, of course, this is a Prime's head. And you can see this the traits. You see the white face, the red helmet, the red eye, the uh, a little bit of red chin, but Here's a problem. Knockout in Transformer Prime is an emotional character. And he has always been like, not really looking evil like Megatron or anything. He looks funny. And this face, Scott doesn't resemble anything funny. It's just this looks evil. And to me, especially the Prime's Knockout, this is a terrible face sculpt. I think that this would work better on any Decepticon face except for Knockout. And like, don't get me like, you don't know knockout stuff. This is Prime's knockout. Okay, and I know that characters. And of course, you still got some bright metallic silver paint on the forehead to redempt it, but not enough. About the chest thing, the chest thing is a, it's a different piece with compared to jazz. This is a whole piece of clear plastic got painted. You got to, you got the red, the bright silver, and the Decepticon sigils on top of it, which is which look nice. And one more different thing about this guy, which is nice because due to the car mode, so it's actually like his torso section is moving up a little bit. So like you can see the whole torso here, which is really nice. But then if you look closer, you see a big gap in between. 
So like not all up to thought and fix are perfect. The arm section, the upper is the same. The lower one is of course, you got a siege connecting point, but then it's hollow and I, ha I have mentioned it's just bland, really bland, no details whatsoever. And then you got the same waist section. This time it doesn't get the blue highlight. You got all everything painted red, which look nice, but I would prefer to have the vent in the middle painted black or something to, you know, highlight it up. The thigh is a new piece of plastic, but essentially it's the same thing, but reduce the details. Unlike the thighs of Jazz, at least you got a lot of details on it. This guy is like bland. The leg is the same. The part that got painted silver now got painted red. The armor section is actually pretty interesting. You actually got two types of red here, but that this whole color scheme section should be better in the car mode. So I want to tell you in the car. So now you got the feet, which is a new piece. And then that should be it. The backpack, yeah, I had mentioned it's better because of the design. So yeah, this is clearly an afterthought. They didn't think this out clearly. They, they just think that, oh, we have Bulkhead with RC from Prime. We need a Decepticon from Transformer Prime. So let's put a knockout. And do we have a sports car mode in hand? And then, okay, we got the 86 Jazz. Let's just throw him in. And this is what we got. So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of disappointing. But yeah, that's what we got. And now for the accessories, you got this. And this clearly resemble the electric spear that he used in Transformer Prime. So that is pretty cool. And for this time, we don't get a clear purple, but then we got this clear black plastic and then painted on a metallic blue on it. I mean, this try to resemble the electric staff of him. So to equip it, you can just gonna put it here and it looks really dumb. It doesn't look like an electric staff whatsoever, but then you can detach it and then I think this is also a gun. So you can put this like this, plug it in. Now, now he's holding a gun and you can plug this here. So like he got some like arm blade or, some, or, some, or something, which I mean, looks kind of cool, but I don't really care. Weapon storage wise, you can like, this is a legacy figure. So you can like store the weapon anywhere you like. And of course he's, he's still got the same old holes as jazz. So, as jazz. so yeah, plug it on here. The, Plug it in the back, it should be good. So now for the action and articulation wise, this is this is the same as Jazz. So here we go. Head, look up a little bit, and that's it. Rotation, arms move out, rotation, you got a bicep swivel, the 90 degrees, and the old transformer hand transforming. You got a waist swivel as well, but you have to move up the backpack for that. Kick to the front, kick to the back. You got the split, thigh swivel over here, elbow knee band, and a pivot, and some toe movement. I mean, like, I have said anything about this guy. This is me doing the review of the same toys over and over again, like I have been this week. Oh my god, that is like a lot of recycled toys, like a two recycled toys, I'm sorry. But then you got the point, this is the exact same as Jazz, a little bit worse because he's not an original character of this mode. So yeah, quite disappointing. So let's see if he holds up in his room, in his alternate mode, let's go. Finish transforming knockout, I can say that, yeah, although he shared the same mode, I think that his transformation sequence is a lot smoother than Jazz. Because as for Jazz here, he you still got a lot of like extension part and hard point, which is make him harder to transform. But for knockout here, I can say a normal vehicle mode. So that makes the transformation sequence a lot more smoother and easier for me. And I think that is a highlight. And when they make this figure, they intended, and I think I'm gonna do that, that we can display him in the vehicle mode because this is where he shines. So let's take a look. 
Of course, you know about the front section, but now take, take it to the side. So the first thing I want to mention is the two wheels. They got painted in a like a gold, gold neon colors, which is like really popped out. And I love it. I love the highlight. The highlight to me looks brilliant. And it leads to the next highlight of this figure, which is the stripe, the, the flame stripe. It started the front section of the car as bright silver and then faded into like metallic red and then full out metallic red into the bottom of the car. And to me, this is brilliant. This is highlight right here. And if I can, I'm going to try my best to preserve this and to show this kind of details because you know in the robot mode these doors here they do get put on flat and put on the back thus you don't see any of this flame here but in this look at this vehicle mode and i think he looks a lot more better than the robot mode and then of course this is a legacy figure so you can store the weapons plug it onto here uh, or here and take that you got some guns and you can plug it here so that should be it. So I'm going to compare him to Jazz. Here we are. And this is the two car. As you see, Jazz is a little bit taller and it's got some a lot of hard points, especially the feet of Jazz is like poking out over here, down here. And because of Jazz got this piece as rounded, so it's really hard to clip up the whole thing down. So every time I transform, it's really a pain in the ass. And then it's hard for the head as well. But for here, for knockout situation, this is flat. So it's like a lot more, a lot whole lot easier than, and I, and I love it. I absolutely enjoy this. So should you get this figure? I mean, if you are a hardcore Prams fan and you really want to spend your money, then go get him. Otherwise, I would not recommend him because I don't like the thought of having my favorite characters put on some other modes that does not belong to him. To me, that is like really bad and I don't enjoy it. So it's up to you. So tell me what you think of this knockout. Should you get this? Or you're gonna stay with your deluxe or you're gonna get the red? Tell me. And that should be it for today, guys. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Thank you.